Howdy, if you're freak out, it's Miss Kosh. I am on to FRQ number two. This is the set that I wrote. Um, hopefully, I will remember to put a link to my PDF in the description of the video so that you can try this problem first um, before you watch me do it. So that would the best way to learn is to jump in and get your hands dirty. Um, so I wrote this problem, but now I forgot it. <laughs> um, so we'll see what we do as we read through this. Um, I looked at, I found some numbers online with TikTok, and um, we're going to use that. I think I worked the problem already, but it's been a little too long. Okay, here we go. In 2020, there were um, there were 465.7 million users, and then in 2024, there's over 9 900 million users. Um, and so, so we're going to use that. We're, they're telling us that it can be modeled with an exponential function where U, so U of T is the number of users in millions, T years after release. Okay, use the, data, the given data to write two equations that, the, that can be used to find the values for constants A and B. Okay, so what information do we know? And here's our nice little page to work off of. We know that U of T um, will equal, so it's A times B to the T, but when T equals four, our value will be 465.7 million. But they're telling us that U of T is the number of users in millions and then T years after release, okay? Then we can also say U of T would be equal to A times B to the eighth, right? Because it was at eight years. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. Eight years later, and then there is going. there are going to be 900.7 million users. Um, I personally avoid TikTok, but you know, too much of my life is already spent on other forms of social media, and social media can be bad, so there's that for you. Um, <laughs> anyway, it's neither here nor there. I like to say I watch TikTok two weeks after everybody else, like all the other grown-ups. Okay, um, on Instagram. <laughs> Never mind. It was funny in my head. Find the values for A and B. Oh my goodness, that was ridiculous. Okay, so we have space down here. Um, what we can do is I can recognize that this a times b to the eighth is a times b to the fourth times another b to the fourth, and this is equal to this 900.7, okay? But the reason I broke this apart is because I see this a times b to the fourth right here is equal to 465.7. So I'm gonna substitute this in, times b to the fourth is gonna be equal to 900.7. Okay, well now b to the fourth will be equal to, um, I didn't clear my calculator after the last set of work, but whatever. I now can take this 900.7 over 465.7. Um, does it give me a nice fraction? No, it doesn't. Okay, anyway, b to the fourth will be equal to that. Okay, and now I need to take this value and um, and raise this to, oh, nope, okay. Well, we can do shift answer and I can raise it to the one fourth power. And I'm taking the fourth root of that value. And so I found that B is about 1.1793. Um, have I answered the question they asked? Nope, because they said find the values for A and B. So then I can come back into one of my other equations. Uh, let's say this a times b to the fourth equals 465.7. I just said that I don't know a, but I do know that b is 1.1793 um, to the fourth is equal to... Okay, um, you know what? I can actually take this number and I could store this as b. Store f of b, that might be helpful for me later. Um, and then I can say, okay, so 465.7 is getting divided by, let's do it this way, getting divided by alpha b raised to the fourth power. And so my a value, could you see what I did? I hope so. Um, my a value is about 240.7866. Uh, six. Okay, so there's a and b. Let's see if that makes sense. Okay, let's store this as A, alpha A. If I take alpha A times alpha B to the eighth, this should e equal that 900.7. Ah, well, that's good news. Okay, that was a good way to check to make sure we weren't totally off our rockers. 
Um, okay, so that looks good. Then it says, um, use for part B, and that, I think we're on to the next page of our answer document. To be or not to be. Okay, so use the given data to find the average rate of change for the number of users from t equals four to eight. Sorry. Express your answer as a decimal approximation. Show that the computations show the computations that lead to your answer. Okay, so what I'm doing here, average rate of change, average rate of change would be equal to f of is it f? No, it's u. Not me, but you. Um, u of eight minus u of four divided by eight minus four. Okay, so u of eight, average rate of change from the four, okay, so eight, we were we were up here. We had this value of, so it's, um, can you see everything I'm doing? I think you can. 900.7 minus, this was 465.7 all over eight minus four. At this point, I'm gonna grab a calculator and say 900.7 minus 465.7. I don't know, I might be saying my numbers wrong, all over four. Okay, so this is equal to 435 over four, but what did they ask us to do? We gotta make sure we answer the question they ask. Express your answer as a decimal approximation. Okay, actually it's not, maybe my numbers were not an approximation, so the average rate of change is equal to 108.75. Then they say, interpret the meaning for, in the context of the problem. Okay, so what's happening here, our average rate of change is, this is, we were talking a number of millions of users per year. So, um, uh, interpret the meaning of your answer in the context of problems. Um, tick tock gained 108.75 million users per year over the years 2016 to, no, was it 2016? No, 2020. I lied, 2020 to 2024. Um, I, I should ask the other teachers, uh, or maybe if you are a teacher and you're watching this video, let me know if you would require your students to write this part. Um, I think it, it's definitely million, million users per year is definitely what we want. Do I need to state this? It feels like I should, but I don't know for sure. Okay, um, then the next one, consider the average rate of change u equals t. Um, t equals 8 to t equals p years, where p is greater than 8. Are these average rates of change less than or greater than the average rate of change from t equals 4 to 8 years found in 1? Okay, so here's where we need to know what the graph looks like. So if we just came up with the equation, not y. u of t is equal to, well, we had, we had values from before. a, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just around um, our a value was about 241 that's not quite right but okay it's good enough for our purposes one point and then one eight for our purposes now I know that I, I'm rounding too much and I wouldn't be happy with this but let's think about what this graph does this is an exponential well this number is bigger than one this is an exponential growth this um, TikTok is gaining 18 it has an 18 percent increase per year um, from this equation and it started here at roughly at 240. I mean, it's not, it had to start at zero because you don't, all of a sudden, there haven't been a time zero, anyway, whatever. But with our numbers, this is how it worked out to be. But the, the point is, this graph is growing something like this. It's an exponential function doing something like that. And so we went from, here was, we had a T of four and eight, and then we went from eight to something else. So somewhere else on that curve was P. Okay, so this was where t equals 4, and this is where t equals 8, and so somewhere larger than that, this is t equals p. Well, notice this exponential function is concave up over its whole interval. Um, it's always concave up. That means its average rate of change on any, any piece as we move the, the slope from, from 4 to 8 is less steep than the slope from 8 to p, assuming that p was bigger than 8. And that's going to happen the whole time, so that the, um, the average rate of change is increasing on this interval since it's concave up. So let's see, how do we want to 
phrase this. Consider the average rate of change. Um, are these averages of, okay, hang on. Consider the average rate of change of u from t equals eight to t equals p, where p is greater than eight. Are these averages of change less than or greater than the average rate of change from this? Okay, so I might say, since u of t is um, always concave up, the average rate of change uh, will be increasing. Uh, how do we want to say this? Um, as our x values increase, as our um, will be increasing. Maybe we'll say this. Um, the average rate of change from t equals eight to t equals p, p greater than eight, will be greater than the average rate of change um, from t equals four to t equals eight. Okay, if you're a teacher watching this, let me know if that's what you would accept for students. I think this seems reasonable. Um, we know it's concave up, so the average rate of change is increasing as I move, as my intervals move um, in a positive direction down this curve. So I think, let's see, since u of t is always, is always concave up, the average rate of change will be increasing. To me, that seems reasonable. If not, comment below. Um, and we're going to keep going and finish this equation. Maybe next year I'll be able to answer this better. <laughs> but this year, this is where we are. Okay, for which t value, 6 or 12, um, should you have more confidence with using the model u? Give a reason for your answer. Okay, um, so our thought on this one, if I'm here at 6, I know the data for 4. I know the data for 8. So I think that using t equals 6 is reasonable. Like this, this equation, it may not be perfect if I plugged in 6 right here and then go Google, okay, what was the data and what would that be, 2022? Um, but I have reason to think that this is reasonable. Okay, it's going to be close to the actual data um, if this, this curve really models that, that data. Um, tw at, at t equals 12, we're somewhere up here, and we don't know. Um, and t equals 12 would be the year what? Um, the year 2028. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe um, uh, we will. I'm trying to think of something that could cause us all to leave TikTok. Um, it, maybe there's a new um, social media thing that's come up that's like, maybe TikTok is now for all the old people and all the young people have gone other places and so it lost members. Um, maybe there was something catastrophic happened and uh, the servers at TikTok all fried. I don't know. I'm just totally being, maybe, maybe there was a great flood in the whole world. I don't know. But point is, is that we don't know what can happen by between now and 2024. And so we are... Um, uh, we are more confident with what, what, with, what hap with what we estimate within our data set as opposed to what's outside our data set. Okay, um, I've heard that called, it's an interpolation when it's inside the data set or it's an extrapolation when it's outside the data set. Okay, so let's see, how do we want to answer this question? For which value? Um, uh, we have, maybe say, we have more con... I can't spell y'all, um, for t equals 6, since it is within the given data set. I, that might be sufficient. Um, if we wanted to continue... Um, You know what? I, th I think I'd stop there. Okay, so that was my FRQ2. I hope that was helpful. Um, I will go make a video for FRQ3, um, and we will put away the calculator. So FRQ3 and 4 would be no calculator. Come back and find that video. Like, subscribe, comment below, all the things. Have a great day. Go practice.